Why does it matter for us to have a conversation about women in this context <laughs> versus fitness generally or nutrition generally? Sport and exercise science in itself is a small subset of sports medicine and medical research. And most of the research has been done on men. So if we look inherently at most of the recommendations of exercise, recovery, and nutrition, it's based on male data. That's not generalizable. So when we really want to get into the nuances of how do we create an adaptive stress for women, we have to look at it differently. To look through the female lens to understand the female physiology and acutely how hormones can affect adaptations and how women respond to different environmental cues than men. Yeah, our hormones distinctly control a lot of our environment and our other cells that are not what we think of as our hormone cells work with our hormones. Your hormones influence what is happening in your gut, but your gut influences what is happening in your hormones. And because women have different hormones than men, we have to come at this and approach it a different way. Strong over skinny, nutrition over calories. Calories, we are trying to build bigger, stronger bodies and take up more space is the message that needs to have. I mean, forever it was all about aesthetics. You have to look young, feel young, be young, anti-age, all those things. And what we've ended up with now is an epidemic of osteoporosis and frailty and dementia. 